If you are one of those players that have been patiently waiting for the return of Jean Bar, this might be as close as it gets. La Foudre is here as part of a new collaboration and basically it's a nerfed Jean Bar. So what is different? There are three Richelieu class battleships currently in the game, all at tier 7. Richelieu is going to be at the top of the French BB tech tree, tier 7. She's 100% free to get, it just takes a little bit of grinding. And then we have the premium Jean Bar featured in the campaign when the game first came out, and now La Foudre. Health-wise, Richie falls way behind her sisters, but JB and LF are going to tie. Richelieu also has worse heals by a little bit, but better torp reduction. Where it really counts, though, with these three battleships is the gun. Let's start with gun range. It's an important statistic for battleships, especially at this tier. And La Foudre has a big nerf here compared to the JB. It's a full kilometer shorter, 16.5 and a full second slower reload than the JB. And finally, the last part of the nerf here, Fudra has worse Sigma, 1.7 under Richelieu and JB's 1.8, so her accuracy is going to be worse. Fudra and Jean Bar both have reload boosters, of course, that gives them a big edge over the Richelieu. This new ship, Pirate Collab Fudra, has buffed secondaries. Their base range is actually 6.7 kilometers, so it's pretty good. The Richelieu and the JB, they're 4.5, so it's a big buff over that. The other stats that differ from Jean and Fudra is that the newcomer has a much faster rudder shift time. Overall, though, when it comes down to it, it's a nerfed Jean Bar, plain and simple. Now the match we're on, Hotspot. Decent matchmaking for us to be top tier, and since the gun accuracy is so bad, we don't want to snipe, so here we are pushing up to an island that I could use to protect myself from HE spam. We need to figure out where the DDs are, and where most of the enemies are going to go, and wait for our chance to push. Atlanta looks like he might come around the corner, so we need to get him out of the match to help our destroyer over there. And both teams have already lost a DD. When it comes to setting this ship up, so her one advantage over Jean Bar, it's the increased secondary range, right? <laughs> you can decide how much that really matters for you, because most of the secondaries on this ship, if you look up and down the side of them, you have 12 100, 100 millimeter guns on each side, and that low caliber of gun won't be able to penetrate really any armor thresholds in the game. Even destroyers at tier 7, they're mainly 19 millimeters. Uh, La Foudre is, is not really going to be able to pin them for damage. She can set plenty of fires, and she should be pretty good at that, considering all of these guns have a base reload of 3 seconds without building into them at all. So I did test this ship out several different ways. This game right here is actually pretty much a full secondary build, with the new commander to boot. But mostly, I see the buff secondaries as almost kind of a useless gimmick. If I also had Jean Bar, I would build Fudra for secondaries and brawling and JB like a normal JB. If I only had the Fudra, I would pick a more hybrid build, I would say. Take a couple shots at the Atlanta here and probably mostly going to be overpins. The French shell velocity and whatever's up with the fuse timer seems to give lots of overpins on cruisers. So kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. Anyways, the new secondary commander. And this ship, having increased secondary range, we obviously tried our Justinian Lions fire build. To me, putting Justinian Lions here as an inspiration is the only possible thing that makes these 100mm guns worth building into. It's just my opinion. And I also think the new commander's base trait is pretty useless on this ship. Because again, the 100s don't pin anything. The 152s do, but they have a reload of 12 seconds. Maybe this new pirate guy could be a good inspiration for German secondary battleships, or maybe it could be useful for Italian secondary battleships. I went and looked at some of the numbers. You can really pump up the SAP secondary damage by putting this guy on there. On the Veneto, you can add around 300 damage per shell for the 152s. So, <laughs> I mean, that could make the Italian BBs damage output for the secondary is pretty scary, but again, you're going to have to give up Haruna or something else useful for that. 
As for me and the build that I would probably stick with overall, aiming systems, damage control mod, concealment, and main battery mod 3. I ended up back with Jajard in a kind of standard battleship build. It helps increase the accuracy and the survivability. I think there's a lot of different directions you could go with that, but again, since I try to test things with a free-to-play commander for you guys, maybe Jajard would be the one to go with. I'm not a big fan of the new guy. I had him up on the screen earlier, but his special skill in slot 4, it's called I'll Be Back, and it reduces fire duration when your damage con is on cooldown so it's actually kind of useful and it also reduces flooding damage both of those are great but in order to get it it is in skill slot 4 so guess what you have to give up that's right master mechanic so you can decide if that is worth giving up two heals or the equivalent of almost 20,000 hp or if you're using Jajard, you're going to have to give up beyond range which is also pretty useful considering you have one of the shortest main battery ranges for tier 7 bbs the big weaknesses of the Fudra. Getting HE spammed, of course, you're wrapped in 32 millimeters of armor. The bad accuracy of the main guns, you've caught some of that action earlier okay, against the Atlanta. Okay, we shot going. three full salvos and I think we hit two shells, two shells, three shells, all over pins. And let's see, what else? Yeah, well, that's those are some pretty big weaknesses. <laughs> So with the Jajar build, I basically just tried to help reduce those shortcomings as much as possible to improve her. The ship could be fun in brawls, and she is. Richelieu is great in a brawl. Using Brawler, though, isn't really an option with the Fudra because it's going to gut your gun range, which is already bad. And Flammable Cannoneer means you're going to be burning a lot, so I really do hate that specific skill. Uh, if I ever take Flammable Cannoneer, I always try to put Firefighter in the third slot to negate it, but anyways. Another huge weakness of the Fudra, I knew there was another one that I just wasn't thinking of, the turrets, they're made out of paper mache. I didn't play a single game, really, that I recall in her, maybe except this one, let's watch and see, that my turrets weren't knocked, at least on one occasion, and permanently destroyed, that happened in three separate games. Uh, one time it was both turrets, so prepare yourself for that. Now there is an armament durability module in slot 1 that you can do on French battleships. That would be really helpful, of course, but it costs you 5% of your overall HP pool, and you're going to lose out on aiming systems mod 1 and the dispersion buff of 7% that it brings with it. So you can decide which way you'd rather shoot yourself in the foot. I would like to see that nerf to overall HP removed. They just redid some of the modules to make them more appealing so that not everyone was using aiming systems mod 1 in slot 1 and MBM 3 in slot 4. Maybe for these French BBs, give us that incentive you know take away the five percent nerf to the hp pool that is it's fine on fudra jb and flander but you know some of the other ones like uh, champagne they have really low hp pools and i think their turrets are still very susceptible to getting knocked so anyways i'd like to see that that mod slot there get redone but i, I doubt we will in this game seaside was lost and I don't know, record time, a minute and 45, all three of our ships over there were dead, so this was a slog to begin with. And we're going to push around the corner here, and the plan was, since our DD was up north in A, I could come around this way, get some crossfires, and hopefully take these guys out. So that is the plan. Let's see how this Justinian Lions fire setup does here. We'll see if we can't kill the Sinop and the Bismarck. Now we're immediately triple fired, so... Not a lot I can do, but use the damage party consumable there. And uh, see how the rest of this here goes. We haven't visited the tier 7 BBs in a while, so I thought it would be interesting to go back through some of their stats and compare them to the Fudre here. Survivability-wise, it's a pretty healthy ship, like I was mentioned, mentioning 69,000 health. That's actually pretty near the top for a French BB. So you can use Megalomania and uh, still be okay, you know, not have a critically low HP pool. As the reload goes, it's just getting a little long in the tooth, I think, for 15-inch guns. My opinion. Turpets and Vanguard, they're a full two seconds faster. Bismarck and Jambar are a full second faster. So this is going to put you a little lower in terms of damage per minute. You will notice it too. 
The best way to do well and to get a lot of damage in this ship seems to be, and the Richelieu and the Jambar, is shell selection. Using HE to set fires on bow end targets and AP for broadsides when you get them. If you can hit them. <laughs> for this reason, I still think Azerlaine Dunkirk, that commander, is one of the best for French BBs. Her skill that allows for the one second shell change time is is one of the best it just makes it too easy that commander is tough to use on this one though since she has brawler and slot one or flammable cannoneer which neither one fit well like i mentioned so anyways that's probably why we're not going to use her the aa on fudra is good it's just like the jb's very very good in fact five kilometer range and in terms of overall dps it's the fourth best battleship at tier seven after georgia iowa and the mighty missouri it's a nice little perk to have, and you can shoot down lots of planes, which of course equates to lots of XP. Don't forget, if you ever want to rack up good amounts of XP, literally without doing a single thing, hope you get targeted by a CV. Wargaming, of course, likes to give XP out for automatically shooting down planes, but of course not for your secondaries automatically shooting other ships, but I digress. Moving on. This ship has mediocre speed, but like all French battleships, she does get a nice speed boost consumable, 8%, I believe. It's going to help you get around the map a little better. And the final stat that I would point out is she has great concealment, 14.7 stock. That is elite when it comes to tier 7 BBs. Let's check back in on the game, and it looks like it's going to be a loss. Anyways, like I said at the start of this video, not all ships in this game are going to be getting the CE or the Collector's Edition treatment like the Mines and the Sommers. Some of them might get this treatment. I believe this will be as close as you will ever get to buy the Jambar again in the store. And for the record, I believe it'll be 17,500 doubloons in the store December 1st. The commanders will probably be 5,000 doubloons. That's what they typically are. But the OG Jumbart will not return for sale in this game. I could almost assure you she will, however, probably be available as super prizes in crates. But I would remind you that that's usually a 0.05% drop rate, if I remember correctly. So unless you want to risk spending hundreds of dollars to gamble for her, La Foudre could be your best option. And that's my overall opinion of this ship. It is a nerfed Jambar. It is not as good. It is not as good. <laughs> the accuracy is going to troll you. Having to build into the range to make it better is going to troll you. And the DPM is worse. All for getting better secondaries, which I feel is pretty much useless. However, if you're like me and you're never going to get your hands on the other Jambar, then I'm, I would get this. You know, I'll throw a historical camouflage on it and go nuts. That's a lot of money. I, would, of course, would say 17,500 doubloons. What ship in the game is actually worth that? Probably none. But you can figure out for yourself if you like it. I think it's a strong ship, even with the nerfs. Overpowered? Not by a long shot. But still good. And also could be fun. The turret configuration makes her very easy to play. So this is an easy ship. A low skill floor for new players and the reload boosters are awesome her speed and maneuverability are fun secondaries could be fun i guess if you ever get the chance to use them seems not to happen a lot in standard matches and the aa is nice for the inevitable cd matches that are old that will be happening overall sheep good let me know what you guys think of her in the comment section down below and if you get her in the coming days i'll be curious how you guys set your guys's up and play them blah 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 yep this game is over we're gonna take one more shot at the cog but he will survive one pin one over pin out of eight shells of 4.7 kilometers and that's the game do me a favor hit the like button i would greatly appreciate it and be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos blah 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 bye